I'm here with Mark. Mark, tell us about yourself and tell us about Beesmax. Yeah, well, Beesmax was created a couple of years ago and in principle it was to take beehives into schools and in corporates. So we do uh, well-being lunch clubs at business parks where the tenants can come down and book in and get us involved as they want. So we're not trying to create beekeepers out of people, we're just trying to give them the, the experience, which has worked really well. However, we became aware of uh, the fact that bees actually live in trees and they're not really being looked after or conserved or relocated in any really professionally managed way. So with that, this is why we're at the Arbor Arb Association today, showing for three days a wild nest that did have bees in it actually until about June this year, but unfortunately with the extreme weather the queen didn't mate, they swarmed off and we'll have to refill this, we'll reoccupy this with bees ne next spring. And this has been a really good practical example of how arborists can help the cause and how they can help the environment to save these trees. They do try to like, in most cases, but this is going to now offer a professional service that uh, can be booked in anywhere in the country and these nests will be recovered and relocated and, and conserved. And hopefully uh, these tree stumps will be uh, living and usable for another 50 years. It's all built out of cedarwood and the two metre stumps you can see here today are in various shapes and sizes so this isn't always as perfect as this but this was a good example for, for today and they've all been very interested actually and I'm, I'm very pleased with the reception that, that we've had. And you brought some honey with you here today and let's go and have a look at that. I've tasted it and it's delicious. Yeah we've tried to show the whole journey from um, the honeycomb that's been cut to so putting it in the box as you can see, which is a traditional way of reselling honeycomb. Uh, you can also buy it in jars, but this is the natural product straight from that frame. That's a complete frame there um, that's capped. And this is a spinner to demonstrate how honey is thrown out of the comb. So this will go around really fast. The honey would come out, drop down the sides, and go out the tap at the bottom. Oh, brilliant. And that's what you'd be more used to seeing in the, in the jar. Mark, thank you very much. I wish you all the best. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you.